ready to meet the world's most awkward ballerina. Hi, you're looking at her. So today I'm gonna to be checking out the National Ballet of Canada's in-studio programs. They offer a bunch of dance programs for adults like Dance Fit Bar, they also do Pilates. So today I'm gonna to be doing their beginner's ballerina class or their beginner's ballet class to unleash my inner ballerina and also show you guys how clumsy I actually am. Okay, so I can't express how excited I am to be here because I've always wanted to be a ballerina ever since, you know you get those boxes that you open it and the ballerina pops out. So this is my shining moment. <laughs> So, and I'm doing the beginner's class today. Yes. So, what exactly am I getting myself into and what am I going to be learning? So, at In Studio, we have lots of different levels of classes. This beginner level class in particular, we're going to take you through the absolute fundamentals of ballet. So, you're going to learn p simple ballet positions of the feet, simple ballet movements of port de bras with your arms, mm -hmm. and a little bit of corrections in terms of stomach muscles oh, and stretching the legs okay. and all of that in. Not sucking it in, <laughs> just being taller and feeling el more elegant and dancing with the music and enjoying yourself. So I assume that you have, like I'm doing the beginner, so I assume that you have like a medium level and maybe like an yes. expert level of the class. That's right. So how do you then progress to get to those next levels? Do you have to take like X amount of classes or do you have to show like a certain amount of progress? It is really dependent on each individual. Mm -hmm. What we do recommend is that you take an entire term of a certain level. So we do start right down from the basics at introduction to ballet level one and level two. Mm -hmm. And then we have our beginner ballet level one and level two, and then we go on to elementary and then intermediate and then advanced. So okay. about six months of each level. Oh wow. But then some of our dancers, some of our dance students, they will stay in a class for their entire dance learning career. It's, it's more so for individuals that are looking for a way to move their body mm -hmm. in a creative, expressive way. and. Ballet and dance is a great form of exercise. You're also using muscles that no other type of fitness will target. And then I heard that your actual ba like ballerinas practice in these studios, Yeah, right? the National Ballet of Canada company members, yeah. they all rehearse in these dance studios. So when you're coming into class in the evening, sometimes you pass by your favorite wow. principal dancer or whatnot. And um, yes. Please tell me that no one's gonna come in and like sneak in on this class. I, I don't think anybody will be so disappointed. We'll keep the doors closed and locked. Okay, I'm just making sure <laughs> you can't escape. I start. <laughs> Okay, so I just finished my first beginner's class. It was super fun, everyone was really supportive because um, I clearly didn't know what I was doing. So I learned a couple things about myself. A, I'm not as graceful as I actually think I am. B, um, I cannot point my toes to save my life. And C, I have severe balance issues. So I mean, that's why these classes are here to help better me in my performances. So next time you see me, I'll be on stage. Full tutu and everything. That probably also looked equally as bad.